What do you wear on a Caribbean cruise? What's the dress code? If you've ever wondered what to wear on a cruise during the day or even what to wear on a cruise in the evening or for formal nights, stay tuned because in this video, I'll show you what I wore on my Caribbean cruise for each day and activity right after this. I'm Antoinette and welcome back to my channel. At Frolic and Courage, I like to share practical travel tips so you can frolic, have the courage to visit new places, then go have an amazing time. In today's video, we're talking about what I wore in my Caribbean cruise. It's part of my new cruise series, so give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for practical travel tips, and to see me traveling through my vlogs, and let's get into this quick little video. Before you pack, visit your cruise line's frequently asked questions section of their website for the dress code. I took a Royal Caribbean four-night cruise to the Bahamas, so that's the site I'll check now at royalcaribbean.com backslash FAQ. On this website, there is a search box, so just type in your question, what is the dress code? There are two different options for the main dress code and the formal dress code, but we'll click on the main dress code since it has it all. So, what's the dress code on board all ships? Royal Caribbean breaks it down into three categories. The casual section is for super relaxed and laid back clothes. You only wear your swimsuits on the pool deck, and shorts are cool for breakfast and lunch. Then there's smart casual. This is where you dress to impress. This is what you'd wear on a special date night out. So collared shirts, pantsuits, blazers, dresses. This is when you want to look fine, look good, like you're going out on the scene. And always keep it casual, okay? And the last part is for formal night. Oh my goodness, formal night. Bring your fanciest A-game. There's usually one formal night, so check your cruise line's website for how many formal outfits you actually need. And at the bottom of the website, there's actually a really important tip. Do not wear bare feet or tank tops in the main dining room or specialty dining areas. You know, get sticky, kids spill ice cream. You don't want to walk around barefooted, and you want to look really nice on those special nights. If you have any questions, there's a phone number, and you can also email as well as talk to a travel agent. So with that, here's what I wore. Pay attention to the fabric and weight when you're choosing what to wear on a cruise. This is for embarkation day, yay! The dress is casual, so I wore a sleeveless jersey knit dress that's lightweight cotton with stretch. Fabrics that are light and breathable like cotton, not like a polyester that's synthetic and it gives you kind of sweaty pits but it helped me to feel comfortable. It gets windy in the Caribbean crew, so I wanted a material that wouldn't fly up in the wind like chiffon. And I wanted to try to pack clothing and shoes that I could mix and match, like what I wore on day number two. We were headed for breakfast and the beach, so I chose clothing that I could easily convert to another use. A lightweight cotton chambray colored beach cover up doubled as a shirt when I tucked it into my stretch jeans. And I paired everything with the same colorful flats and I could roll up my sleeves if it was hot or roll them down if it got cold. Very key for convertible clothing. Hun wore a t-shirt, black shorts, and comfortable shoes for walking on the deck and around town when we disembarked in the Bahamas. On the beach, I converted my shirt back to a cover-up that had my bathing suit and paired them with flip-flops and a striped beach tote. Then we have the very next night, which was formal night. You know, no tank tops in the formal night, so we were dressed as if we were going to a friend's classy evening wedding. Some people went all out with ball gowns, while others didn't really dress up at all, so it's really what you feel comfortable in. This is a cotton dress with metallic thread and a silk sash from Banana Republic along with black strappy open-toed sandals. The dress and the shoes were lightweight and Hun looks so hot in this two-piece suit with the tie. The following day, we went on a snorkeling excursion but first stopped at the Windjammer Buffet for breakfast. I wore a sheer cotton three-quarter length hoodie, a cotton skirt as you can see, along with some really comfortable flip-flops with my bathing suit underneath. While Hun wore a colored rash guard with black swim trunks that looked, you know, like a normal outfit during the day. That evening, we went on a special date night to Chop's Grill, a specialty dining restaurant that has a smart casual dress code. I wore a tank top, so I covered that up. It was a silk tank top, but I covered it up with a black cropped jacket along with some great cotton um, jeans that had a metallic hint so they looked like leather but they were not and my strappy open-toed sandals again came in very handy here. And this is what we looked like on date night. Hun wore shiny shoes, dress pants, and a button-down pink collared shirt. Hey, there we go, looking good. And our last night at sea, Hun wore a t-shirt and shorts with comfortable shoes, and I wore a cross-back polka-dotted shirt with green 4-inch cotton shorts and my favorite bright ballet flats. So, 
If you haven't seen my first time cruise travel tips, click on the link at the end of this video. And if you got a few ideas on what to wear, click the like button and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.